Right, we're off to the biggest marketplace in Thailand. It's the Chattachak Weekend Market. Now, I'm told you can buy pretty much anything at this marketplace. There are over 15,000 stalls there. You can buy anything from the smallest little things up to massive ornaments. So Maybe some bugs. I'm really looking forward. I'm not eating any bugs. <laughs> no, no more bugs. Never again bugs. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. It's going to be good. Let's go see what we can find. So we're going to get the train. It takes 21 minutes. Heading north. Uh, cost us 94 baht for two people. So that's, just, that's a one-way ticket. Not bad at all. It's pretty cheap. It's the quickest way to get there as well. Even taxiing out throughout the day, you just don't really want to bother. The traffic is too bad down there. Well, we've just got off the train and it's pretty busy here already. We're not even at the markets yet. It's going to be mad. You literally come out of the train station, walk down the road a little bit and you'll see all these little, all these little stalls everywhere. And then there it is. Right, there's a challenge today. Let's see what the weirdest thing we can find is. Let's do it. Right, this place is huge. Mahusiv. Clothes here are really cheap. Really cheap, actually. Oh, look at that, mate. Mm. 80 bucks. I got the wrong thing. It tastes like vanilla ice cream. Okay, there we go. Mm. Perfect for today. He's absolutely roasting. We've decided to get half hour foot rub. 150 baht. It's well worth it in my eyes. Ooh. A bit pricey on the old nice shirt there. Oh, I've lost it. Oh, it's chaos here, man. I've lost now. Well, we ended up staying for 45 minutes. 200 baht for 45 minutes. Did half an hour on the feet, 15 minutes on the neck and shoulders, and it was actually, it was actually really good as well. Probably the best massage we've had since we've been here. The woman next to us was basically on the verge of having an orgasm. It was so funny. <laughs> That's how good it was in there. Now, all the merchandise here are probably some of the best prices I've seen since we left home. So uh, you can get a lot of a lot of stuff here, a lot, even a lot of like mainstream stuff. You see at every single market, you see get everything really cheap here. And there's a lot of clothes here, like little boutique stalls uh, with real high quality clothes in that would cost you a bomb at home. So if you do, if you are like wondering, oh, should I get holiday clothes, mate? Just c come here and get it at this market because there's so much here. I think I found a top contender for something weird. Look at this. That is a top contender. <laughs> I think that wins it's so far. Who can get the big ones? Oh, yeah. They're wrapped in plastic too, like they Yeah, top contender there. <laughs> Heaps of plants. This is huge! Look at these mate, little ornamental froggies.
Yeah, this place is like a proper maze, man. It just goes on and on and on and on and on. Uh, and there's like uh, 10, 10 to 15 rows of this. Look at it, mate. And we have also found possibly the dumbest thing here. I don't know if you know what you would use this for, but this is the dumbest thing I've found all day. Right, got these little bags here. Yeah? Look at this. Look at it. Hold your phone up for reference. What is it good for? What is this bag good for? Somebody tell me, please. It's it looks... very good quality, though. Yeah, but what is the point of it? How tasty does this look? We're going in. 99 baht. Exactly. Gonna give it a go. They're quite big, they're not mouth size pieces. Come on, stick it in. Glorious. Is it good? It's alright. Oh, that's so disappointing. It's not anything to like, it's basically like crispy, like cracker with whip, loads of whipped cream. That's what it is. Alright. Oh, so I'm so disappointed. I haven't even tried it yet. You've ruined it for me. Um, no, yeah, she's right. It is just uh, all right. Nothing too special. The advertisement glass this time. Actually, the more you eat, the better it gets. Definitely worth 50 baht each anyway. Definitely. It's pretty good. Seven out of 10. Seven out of 10? Yeah. It's quite good. Big boy, big boy. There's heaps of food here as well, all reasonable prices from what I can see. I don't know if I'm, I'm a little bit scared to eat at markets again after last time, but there's heaps of food places here. Look at this. It goes all the way down there. All food along here. And you can get pretty much everything. Loads of fried chicken. Oh, these little meals might be nice. Oh, I'm scared to eat here now. Bit spicy, yeah? Spicy. Mm. I love skewers, man. Meat chicken, sticks. Chicken ones are bloody good. Mm. Yeah? They're pretty good. It's just chilli sauce in them, though. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, you've got three bit barbecue ones. I know. You've got five. Do you get chicken and beef? Mm, that one's good. That's pork. All oh, right. We've got two chicken, two beef, one pork, 135 baht. Nice. Beef. Beefy. Mm. We've been told that the beef in Thailand isn't really that great. Yeah. By a trusted source. Yeah, so I'm going to try it. Quite good. Yeah? Mm. Lovely. Very good. Feels good to be eating again. Alright, I was warned off getting beef before I came here. And I can kind of see why the beef skewers, the first couple bits are meat, and then you get down it and there's like big lumps of fat on there, only fat, which actually I would usually eat, but I got like real low appetite at the minute after being having food poisoning the other day. So I'm, I'm leaving them, but just be wary, probably best off just getting pork and chicken because they're just full, full of meat. Plus the beef is pretty chewy and not really too, uh, not really too enjoyable to eat. The chicken and the pork are really good though. And I've found that across the board really with beef here. It's a bit him. It's very, very miss and here. They've got these as well. They keep them at ice cold temperature, but because they're moving, it doesn't set until you open it. It's pretty cool. Look at these unique bags. I'm going in. Look at this mate. 29,000 baht for this one. Pretty cool bag. Proper leather as well, you can smell it in it. It smells well nice. Look at that crocodile skull up there. Yeah, so those bags are pretty cool. But they are 29,000 baht each for the bigger ones. Don't know how much the smaller ones are.
Also, right next door to the market is this lovely park. Look at it. It's quite nice, actually. No, o Oasis. Right next to the train station as well. This park is in between the train station and the market. What would you give them, like, a rating out of 10? Five. Fucking five. Three. Five. All right, five out of 10. Four then. Four. They're, too, they're too spicy, they're instant noodles. They have got some. Good, and you haven't even eaten them. Good chunk of veggies in there. Yeah, they're all right, they've got veggies in there. All right, five out of ten then. Look at this, mate. It's a well nice park, and there's a lot of people here. This reminds me of Melbourne in Australia. Really nice, actually. Really chilled, really quiet. Yeah, it's nice. It's busy, but it's not like in your face busy. We're going to set up camp here and call it a day. We're leaving Bangkok tomorrow and we're off to somewhere else. Don't know where. <laughs> All right, the place we're going is called Pit Sanalok. It's north of here. It's going to take us about six hours on the train. We're going to get an early night tonight. We're just going to watch the sunset here. It's nice here. This, this park's nice. So we're going to just wait for the sunset here, catch the train back and get an early night. Good night, people. Peace out. <laughs> 